Welcome to Specific Love. This is the 15th edition of 10 Life Hacks with PVC. I would have never guessed it went this far. Thank you very much for all the ideas and the help getting along to this point. Let's begin. If you've ever tried to use any spray cans around the house, you're painting some stuff, maybe you've tried it on some rocks, some trees nearby. I've, I've tried that and I kind of got in a little bit of trouble from the wife. And so she said, no more of that. So I came up with this idea of this. It's just some PVC, half inch PVC here. Uh, I got some 90 degree angles, some T connectors. And the great thing about this is you don't have to have anything in particular in mind when you put it together because you can always change the shape later. As you can see here, I've you already used this a number of times. It doesn't matter if the PVC already has holes in it from other usage or other things you've made, doesn't really matter. You can just put it together, you can change the shape of it to however you wish. And this is just a great little painting station that you can use whenever you need it. For those of you who may be from Christian descent or Jewish descent, you'll notice this as a menorah. It's actually a very simple design in this. I have three four-way connectors. I have one, two, three, it'd be six elbows. On the top side here on the ends, I have some couplings that allow the candles to sit in better. On the bottom down here, you'll see I just have three T's so that it makes this a simple stand. And again, you can use just some white candles and put across, or in this case, get some of the tops off of some of these solar lights and you can hot glue those to the top and that will make a really, really cool solar menorah. Now this could make some great uh, actual usage if you want to use it for candles or just some great decor. If you work in a garage making a lot of stuff like myself, then you're going to use drill bits. Well, I got a great way to make a neat little holder for these. Take a piece of one inch PVC and you want to cut it in half and then you want to take each of the drill bits and you want to drill its own hole so that you have unique little sized holes and you'll end up with something like this. Then you can take your drill bit, slide it in place, and there's your cool little homemade unique drill bit holder. If your child likes Native American teepees, well here's an easy way to make one. This is just some PVC, it's actually half inch PVC. I have four pieces cut to five foot long. I'm holding the PVC together with just some simple thick rubber bands. The nice sheet that I'm using here is also being held up by just a simple rubber band. Now, this is not very large in size, but it's definitely large enough for a young child to get in here and play with. And that's just a great way for them to have a little fun. If you have one of these awesome umbrellas that'll fit over your picnic table, they work great keeping everything nice and shaded. Only one thing is that in our picnic table, it has a hole through the table, but it doesn't have any kind of support underneath the table to keep it from rocking back and forth. An easy way to fix that, we got a nice large pot for a plant, and I'm using a one and a quarter inch piece of pipe. It fits well over our umbrella post here, and I'm also using about 50 pounds of sand. Great thing about this, is it's nice and sturdy in there and if you need to move it around you can just slide the pot wherever you need it. If you have a cat, well here's a great way to make you a cat scratching post. This is a one inch piece of PVC pipe that I've drilled a hole in one side on both ends. And then I just strap some twine around it. This happened to be some uh, rope from the dollar store so it's real cheap and just wrap it around it. You have a knot in one end, and you wrap it real tight and put a knot in the other end. Well, it's very simplistic like that, but then you take maybe a T connector and put it on one end, and then get you some kind of a, another connection for the other end to raise it up. And now your cat can come over. You can scratch on this post, and it's real maneuverable, real easy to lift up and move around, so you can have it just about anywhere. Now here's a great way to extend a rake for many uses. I'm using some one and a half inch PVC to just have a bolt going through the PVC and through the, the uh, rake. And this comes in great usage, specifically in the fall when you're trying to get up on your roof and get all some of those leaves off, but you just don't want to climb up there. You can use this for a great extension. 
And that way, you can get those leaves off without having a chance of falling. I had a few of my viewers ask me if I could make some kind of a sprinkler system for the yard or for their garden. Well, I came up with this simple but fairly large version. I have a number of holes drilled in them so that the water can come out easily but not too high pressure. I have holes on these two. On the side pieces here, I have it slightly angled out and that angled more that way so it kind of spreads out across the grass. But let me turn this on and I'll show you how it works. As you see here, the water is directed outward on the sides. And I hand drilled all these, so none of them are going to be exactly perfect, but that's okay because that's going to get a, a few little odd areas and get more water where you need it to go. Whenever you get ready to move it, you can just grab the hose and give it a pull. And since it's low to the ground, you don't have to worry about it flipping over. If you have yourself an aquarium, this is a great way to do a little tunnel for them. This is a four inch piece of drainage and sewer pipe. This is not your standard schedule 40 pipe. This is over in a slightly different section. If you look for it, it is much thinner. It's also much cheaper. The great thing about this is you put it in your aquarium, you can throw rocks and maybe some little trees and, and shrubbery and stuff around it. And the fish can swim in one side and out the other or that like a lot of times they'll swim in one and just kind of sit there and watch everything going around. But it's a great and simple way to make a little tunnel for an aquarium. This next idea comes from one of my viewers named Cody Atkins. He created this awesome owl lamp using some thin walled PVC. The design came from a pumpkin kit that he attached and used a file to carve out all the intricate designs. If you look at the top, he carefully heated the cap and gave it a wavy texture. He then used a simple light fixture to allow it to glow. This is a great project. Thank you Cody for sharing. If you liked any of these projects, make sure you click that like button and tell us what you think about it in the comments. Also, if you have any ideas of making stuff with PVC, put that in the comments too and there's a chance it might be used in a future video. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we put out a video every week. Have fun building.